welcome to my video. If you've never seen a video by me, I am obviously Angela. I do DIY, I do vlogging with my family, and then I do thrift hauls. This video is similar to a thrift haul, but I think it's even better. Today, I'm gonna to show you what I've gotten at several clothing swaps I've been to lately. If you've never heard of or been to a clothing swap, it's uh, there's different ways to do it. Sometimes people do it in their home. Sometimes they do it in a public setting or venue. Um, the two I've been to, one was at the library and one was actually downtown Portland at the Crystal Ballroom. And it's where you usually bring a bag of clothing items you don't want that are clean and good repair and then you bring those and then you can exchange those for stuff that you want. And it's a lot of fun and a really good way to find new items and a good way to get rid of the ones that you already have. And Everything I've gotten here collectively only cost me $10. The first clothing swap I went to was in a library and it was free and I found some really good outerwear because it is summertime so a lot of people are switching out their clothing and it's a good time to find off-season items. And then the second one I went to was last weekend and it was Northwest's biggest clothing swap. It was $10 and it was huge and I want to get started. I have a lot of stuff to show you guys and I've kind of put it into categories so let's get started. Grab your coffee, grab your beer, grab your kombucha and let's go. Hey guys, so the very first items I want to show you are tops. I have quite a few of them and I'm going to start with kind of fun t-shirt items and blouses and I'm very excited to show you guys. So the first item I have here it's just a basic workout tee and I love the color on this one and the brand is Zella, which I've never heard of, but it has some fun detail in the front and it's stretchy material and it's great for working out. One thing I do look for when I am doing a clothing swap is basic items, something that I probably wouldn't want to spend money on when I'm out shopping and I can just find it there for free. And the next item I have to show you guys is this long sleeve green t-shirt and I love the detail on the elbows a little patchwork it's like a faux suede material it's super light and I plan on using this to layer the next item I want to show you guys is this uh, tank it's kind of a dressed up dressy tank I love the colors. It's kind of like a peachy pink and then it has the blue in it. Very pretty. It has a little bit of the high-low back front, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's really uh, very minimal, so I really liked it. The next item I want to show you guys is this other tee. It's blue with just little silver stars. Thought it was very pretty, you know, anything that you can wear day to day. Next item I want to show you guys is this t-shirt. This is a LuLaRoe t-shirt, which you guys may or may not have heard of this company. It's like a home selling, you can't really find it in stores. People do it like they do Tupperware or candle light or anything like that. So I found this and they're super stretchy. This is actually a small, which it's huge. The next item I have is this just basic plain black shirt. It's like a t-shirt dress. I love these things. You can layer with these guys. It's always cool to have basics so you can uh, show off those really special pieces that you did find or that you already have in your closet. This item I love. I found it there. Um, it's so pretty and I had to grab it. It's a bit small on me so I, it's not one that I'll button up but I had to have it anyway. This blouse and I love the detail on it. That's so pretty, so light. The next item I have to show you is a really cute little t-shirt, well not little, a cute t-shirt that I found. And if you know anything about movies or 80s movies, The Princess Bride, and this will, uh, yeah, Inconceivable from The Princess Bride. My husband loves this movie and so do I, so I snagged this guy. And 
And the last t-shirt I have to show you guys, I found this and I grabbed it. It's like new and it was really funny. So I sometimes wrestle with my demons. Sometimes we just cuddle. Who can relate to that, right? The next category I'm going to share with you guys is jackets and coats. Um, I found a lot at the first clothing swap I went to and I was really excited to find them there and I'm super excited to wear them next fall and winter. Most of them are light jackets but um, I'll keep them in my closet and enjoy them later. The first coat I have to share with you guys is this jacket. It's kind of a longer coat. I loved the inside. It's a little wrinkled now, but it is like brand new. I love the belted waist and the big buttons. So pretty. And it's like a three quarter leg sleeve, which was different. And then the collar is really cool. The next jacket I have to share with you guys is like a letterman's jacket. It doesn't have anything on it. So I plan on maybe DIYing something later, maybe buying some patches or something to go with it but it was really cool. So I grabbed this guy, pretty basic. Like I said, there's nothing written on it, no patches. So I think it'll be fun to find something to put on it later. The next jacket I have to share with you is a little short leather jacket. It's gray and it has kind of the military buttons in the front. I really loved it. My favorite color, if anybody asks me, is gray. The last coat I have to share with you is this bluish gray coat. It's one I plan on wearing every day. Very excited to see it there, so I grabbed it up. The next category I have to share with you guys is sweaters and cardigans and sweatshirts. I found quite a few there. I'm very excited to wear them soon, so let's get started. The first thing I have to show you is this really cute hoodie. I love the colors of this one and the design and details. Very pretty, very comfy. The next thing I have to show was this sweater. This one is going to be super cozy. We're going to the drive-in tonight, so I plan on wearing it there. It has a hood and details. It zips up and it has the little toggly buttons. The next sweater I have to share with you is this gray sweater. I actually got it uh, originally because I just really liked the big buttons it has, but I actually wore it and it's quite nice. The next thing I have to share is this little cardigan. You know, basic, wear it with uh, maybe that black shirt dress that I found. The next item I found was this sweater. It's a black sweater. It's super thin, but it has the lace detail on the bottom that I just loved. So pretty. So I plan on, you know, layering this with something. And the last one I have to share with you guys is this brown, kind of a tan and black sweater. This one is super light. It's another one I plan on layering. It's very pretty, it's kind of long and comfy. So the next category I wanted to share with you is pants. I didn't find a lot of pants and it's something I never usually find, but I did find some and I'm happy to share with you what I got. So the first thing I found were these jeans and they're kind of like a flare leg. They're nothing super special, but they fit me pretty good and I was kind of excited about that. It's really hard to find jeans sometimes and they're kind of stretchy and super comfy. And then the next thing I found were these black kind of dressy pants. Dress pants for sure. They're a very flowy material and then they also had the like faux 
leather detail, which I really liked, and pleats in the front, which is kind of fun. And the last pair of pants I found were another pair of jeans, and these were a lot of fun. Something that I probably wouldn't have bought if I saw it in a store, but for the clothing swap, it was worth a try. We'll see if I wear them, but they're kind of like a bell bottom. And then they have these really cool butterfly details on them. One there, and one here. So I plan on wearing these this summer. So that's it for bottoms. And so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to shoes. I did find some shoes when I was at the clothing swaps and I'm super excited to show you guys. It's something I do look for. Another tip that I have for you guys is do look in the accessories department and the shoes because you can find some even brand new stuff there. A lot of times people buy shoes or wear them once and it's uncomfortable or whatever. So uh, the first pair of shoes I have are these tan boots. I love the detail on these. I think these would be fun with um, like a flannel and a pair of jeans. Super fun. They have actually suede lining, which I thought was cool. They're kind of vintagey looking, kind of old fashioned, which I liked. The second pair of shoes I wanna show you guys is these boots. Found these fringe boots there and I grabbed them up. They need a little bit of help. The fringe is kind of fraying a little bit, so I need to clean them up, but for free, basically, I thought I will give them a shot. They're my size, and I just loved them. When I was at the first clothing swap I went to, I did find some Adidas shoes, just some basic gray shoes. They were actually new when I got them. I've worn them a couple times since then. My size, but for free, Wow, guys, that's a pretty good score. And the last pair of shoes I have to share with you guys are these sandals I found. I loved the straps on these. Perfect for summer. They're super comfy. And I'm all about the boho kind of Aztec look. And I thought they were so cute. The next thing I want to share with you guys is I did find a bag. Um, I loved it when I found it and I grabbed it up. Uh, keep an eye out on that accessory table while you're at the clothing swap because you can scoop up some really cool stuff. And I found this bag. This is faux leather detail. It's kind of like a canvas bag. I really liked it. I mean, it's perfect size for me. I can fit everything in there. Pretty cool. So the last thing I want to share with you is kind of a collective thing. I'm not going to go through each item individually, but when I'm out and about at the clothing swaps, I do keep an eye on that accessory table. And one thing I'm looking for is the square scarves or scarves in general. I love them for decorating. It's a great way to permanently or temporarily decorate your house. I love the bohemian kind of feel. So it's flowy, it's pretty. And then it's a good way to dress up an outfit. So if you have kind of a basic t-shirt on or long sleeve, whatever, um, you throw a scarf on and it like just steps up the game. I always get complimented whenever I wear a scarf. And so when I was out at the clothing swaps, I did find a handful of them. So I found a whole bunch and I plan on making like a scarf curtain for my back. I have a giant mirror in my dining room that I just can't stand, so I wanna dress it up a little bit with a really pretty scarf curtain. So I grabbed all these square little scarves and I'm gonna stitch them together and make that curtain. And then I also did find a couple of hats. I'm not a big hat person, but I, again, when you're out on a clothing swap and you're not really spending a lot of money, it's a good way to take a chance on an item that you might not purchase anyway. So I did find some hats. I found this really cute little beret type fisherman's hat. And then I found this Adidas stocking type hat. And this one I plan on wearing camping because we're planning on doing hiking and camping this summer and this one's good for like dressing up a little outfit so it's something that of course i 
like I said, wouldn't purchase just out and about, but when you're there and it doesn't really make any difference if you grab it or not, go ahead and grab that item and give it a shot. If it doesn't work, just take it to the next clothing swap or you can give it to a friend or family member that does like the outfit. And the last and final thing I wanna share with you guys is when I am out and about at the clothing swaps, I do like to find items for, for my family. Um, I look out, I have my husband and I have two boys and then I have my mom who enjoys clothing swaps as well and my sister and nieces and whatnot. So when I'm out and about at those clothing swaps, I look out for them too. Go ahead and check the men's table and then uh, the accessories and other items. I mean, they're super cute stuff that might not fit you, but grab it for somebody else. The item that I got for my son was this little sweatshirt. He's super into emojis, so I grabbed this for him. Super funny, he loved it. And then I always grab my older son t-shirts because he's like a small in men's, and I can always find some pretty cool t-shirts for him while we're out. This is Adidas, kind of a workout shirt, like brand new. And then I grabbed this one. I'm not sure if I like it, but it was worth a try. So you guys, that is my giant haul from the clothing swaps I've been to lately. It is clothing swap season, so I plan on going to more soon. And I hope to share those things that I find there with you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I love you guys and thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!